Good morning. My name is Allegra Frank, and today I will be talking about three very valuable lessons that influential people in my life have taught me over the years. First off, what is a lesson? Most people, when they hear the word lesson, tend to associate it with a sort of negative connotation. And while sometimes this is true, it, lessons don't always have to stem from negative experiences. I believe that most of the time, lessons can come from good experiences. And while we can all agree that lessons shape us as individuals, sometimes if it stems from something negative, we tend to subconsciously associate that negativity with the possible good meaning that the lesson can provide. So what makes these three lessons I am talking about today important to me is not only the people who have helped teach them to me, but also the amazing life values I have been able to gather from these lessons and both, from both these lessons and these people, which I will be able to carry with me into the rest of my life. The first lesson I learned is one on forgiveness, something my mom taught me. My mom can be described in three words, caring, compassionate, and strong. She is the rock who is always there for me and is always on my side no matter what. But even though she is always there for me, she is also always there to help teach me lessons. And because of this, I have learned the values of granting forgiveness and always having unconditional love. And this can be hard at times, especially when my first recollection of this is as a four-year-old. Okay, so when I was four, we had a fish tank with lots of fish in it. And sometimes when my parents were busy and I was really bored or my dogs were sleeping, I would watch the fish because, I mean, you can't really play with a fish. So one day when I was watching the fish, my mom decided she was going to clean the tank. And if you've ever had fish before, you know you have to take the fish out of the tank in order to clean it. So I watched my mom do this and I was completely fascinated. And I really wanted to help, but she wouldn't let me. So the next morning, I woke up really early, and like the little helper that I am, I decided to do some fish tank cleaning of my own. And you remember how you have to take the fish out of the tank in order to clean it, right? So long story short, this is why all the fish were on the floor and why my mom walked in screaming, asking why I put all the fish on the floor. It's not easy for a four-year-old to explain to her hysterical mother why she just inadvertently killed all the fish because she was just trying to help clean the tank. So I had to ask for forgiveness, which my gracious mother granted me. But this lesson on forgiveness also helped teach me about unconditional love. And these are two values I hold dear to me to this very day. The lesson I learned on forgiveness for what happened to the fish not only influenced my outlook on life, but it also showed me that making a mistake was in fact okay. And furthermore, the lesson I learned on unconditional love showed me that even though my mom was mad at me and I was scared because of this, she still forgave me and she didn't love me any less. The second lesson I learned is one on the importance of humor, and this is something my dad taught me. Without a doubt, my dad is quite the character. He's always taught me the importance of having a sense of humor, and how to use this humor to keep a positive attitude, and how to even use humor to combat any stress I might have. Whether we're making up silly songs or making jokes at my mom's expense, humor is always on the agenda. He has shown me how to use this sense of humor to make any negative situation positive and how this can always benefit me with a positive outlook on life. This sense of humor he has instilled in me has not only taught me how to laugh at myself, but it has also taught me how to always keep a positive energy in the room. But the other side of this lesson is how he's shown me how to use humor to take stress out of any given situation. For example, if I'm stressed and I have a really big test to study for, he will come constantly bother me with jokes. Or, he will come into my room with all our dogs, getting them all riled up in the process, and they will bother me and jump on, my, jump on my bed until I laugh. And they won't leave until I laugh. Or sometimes he'll tell me funny stories, and this will help get my mind off things. And this shows me that no matter how serious the situation is, I can always find some way to laugh or be positive about it. His ability to use humor to lessen stress has always helped me to be able to find ways to diffuse any situation that might be stressful to me. And this is very important to me, especially because I'm leaving and going off to college soon. The last lesson I learned from both my parents and my many soccer coaches is one of how diligence, hard work, is one of how discipline, hard work, and diligence will always pay off. I have been playing soccer for the majority of my life, and I would be lying if I said it didn't teach me some level of discipline. It is hard to want to always go to practice all the time, especially if one day you just want to stay home and study for a test. But playing on a team requires discipline, and sometimes discipline means doing something even if you don't necessarily want to do it. 
Playing on a team has also taught me how hard work will pay off. For example, if I'm playing really well or working really hard to improve myself in practices, more likely than not, I will get more playing time in games. Another thing I've learned from this experience is diligence. When I was younger, my dad used to always tell me in our practices, you don't practice to get things right, you practice to never get them wrong. And this is something I have always tried to live by. Both my parents and my coaches have taught me the importance of understanding the values of discipline, hard work, and diligence in life. And they have always taught me how to have the ability to get tasks done, even if I don't want to do them, how to have the strength to do these tasks, even if no one else is doing them, and the importance of always putting my best effort into these tasks 100% of the time. These lessons that I've learned have helped shape me to be the person that I am today, and I believe they've helped shape me for the better. And that's why not only are the people who taught me these lessons so important in my life, but also the amazing, the amazing values I have gathered from these lessons can only come from living and learning with these people. Not all the lessons stem from something positive, as you can see, but all the lessons did have incredible outcomes that I will be able to take with me into the rest of my life. Thank you.